Do you remember the first time you stumbled upon the captivating world of the 1985 TV series Moonlighting? Maybe it was a lazy Sunday afternoon, and you found yourself drawn into the witty banter between Maddie Hayes and David Addison. Or perhaps it was a late-night TV binge session when the moon was high in the sky, and you couldn't resist the allure of this timeless show. As you reflect on that initial encounter, the memories might flood back. The clever repartee, the unforgettable chemistry between Cybill Shepard and Bruce Willis, and the way the show effortlessly blended mystery, romance, and comedy. But did you know that Moonlighting was a trailblazer in many ways? It was one of the first shows to break the fourth wall, inviting viewers to become part of the narrative in a unique and engaging manner. The show's snappy dialogue and pop culture references were ahead of their time, setting a standard for TV series to come. So, join us as we delve into some fascinating random facts about this iconic series. Let's uncover the behind-the-scenes stories, the hidden gems, and the impact Moonlighting had on television history. Get ready to be dazzled by the magic of Maddie and David once more. It's more. It's more. It's more. It's more. The 1985 TV series Moonlighting was known for its behind-the-scenes drama. Both Bruce Willis and Cybill Shepard, the show's stars, were notoriously difficult to work with. According to a 1989 article in People, tension plagued the show from the beginning to its fifth and final season. Willis' growing film career, especially his role in Die Hard, and Shepard's pregnancy in 1987 disrupted the production schedule. Willis reportedly expressed a strong desire to leave work early and even had a loud and violent outburst on set when the production schedule threatened his afternoon plans. This on-set turmoil was a defining aspect of the show's history. Unfortunately, there isn't substantial information available about the Indian TV serial One Plus One being an unofficial remake of Moonlighting. Therefore, we focused on the well-documented backstage drama of Moonlighting. Interesting fact, Moonlighting was a case study in the challenges of managing strong personalities in the entertainment industry, making it a memorable part of television history. 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 In the 1985 TV series Moonlighting, comedian Doug Benson had a recurring role as a regular extra. He portrayed an office worker at the Blue Moon Detective Agency for several episodes throughout the series, adding a touch of humor to the show. The third season of Moonlighting is infamous for its repeated delays and a significant number of filler episodes that deviated from the primary story arc. These filler episodes included a Christmas story, a retrospective show, a Shakespeare spoof, and an episode focused on Miss Di Pesto. The scheduling problems arose because Bruce Willis broke his shoulder while skiing, and Cybill Shepard was pregnant with twins. To address these challenges, one episode even began with a mock newsreel announcing the behind-the-scenes problems, highlighting the show's tumultuous production period. Interestingly, when it came to casting the role of David Addison, J.R., Robert Blake and Rick Dees were considered candidates. Voice actor and stand-up comedian Morris LaMarche received three callbacks during the audition process, but was eliminated before reaching the screen test phase. Moonlighting was not only a groundbreaking series for its mix of drama and comedy, but also for the intriguing behind-the-scenes stories that added a layer of complexity to the show's history. show's history. In the world of 1985 TV series Moonlighting, some intriguing tidbits emerge. Among them, the tale of how Bruce Willis came to play David Addison Jr. takes center stage. ABC and Cybill Shepard initially had their eyes on Harley Venton for the role. However, creator and writer Glenn Gordon Karen had other plans. He opted for then-unknown Bruce Willis instead. Both screen tests, featuring Mary Margaret Humes as Maddie Hayes, were recorded on September 7, 1984, and can be found at the conclusion of the pilot DVD. The show's episodes faced more than a few delays. So many, in fact, that a promotional spot had an actor playing a network employee who was left waiting for the next episode to arrive. The wait must have been quite the ordeal. Lastly, in the second episode, David casually mentioned someone named McGillicuddy. Little did viewers know that this mention would lead to a recurring character in the third season. McGillicuddy became an integral part of the Moonlighting universe. In the end, Moonlighting was more than just a detective show. It was a series filled with behind-the-scenes twists and unexpected character developments. In 1985, the TV series Moonlighting hit the small screen, starring Bruce Willis and Cybill Shepard. 
Here are some random facts about the show. Die Hard Connection. Bruce Willis, known for his iconic role in Die Hard, was actually filming the action-packed movie while still working on Moonlighting. By the time Moonlighting ended, Die Hard was already available on VHS. In one of the show's final episodes, there's a notable scene where Willis and a love interest stroll past a video rental store, coincidentally featuring an employee tearing down a Die Hard poster from the window. Delayed season five, Moonlighting faced a significant hurdle when a prolonged writer's strike delayed the start of filming for its fifth season. The cameras didn't roll until October 4th, 1988, causing an extended hiatus for fans eager for new episodes. Remington Steel comparison, Moonlighting often gets compared to another detective-themed show of the 1980s, Remington Steel. Both series shared the same creators and fell into a similar genre. However, Moonlighting stands out as one of the best shows of the 80 seconds, while Remington Steel is mainly remembered for introducing Pierce Brosnan to the world. These intriguing tidbits offer a glimpse into the world of Moonlighting, a show that blended romance, comedy, and detective work to become a beloved part of 1980s television history. Moonlighting, the most expensive TV series of its time in 1985. The TV series Moonlighting broke new ground in more ways than one. One of the most striking facts about the show is that it held the title of being the most expensive series on TV during its run. With an average cost of $1.6 million per episode, it set a high bar for television production costs. ABC, the network that aired the show, was willing to dig deep into its pockets for this expense. The reason behind this extravagance was that ABC owned the show itself. Unlike most TV series, which are produced by separate production companies, ABC's ownership of Moonlighting meant they could reap higher profits, making the hefty investment worthwhile. Another noteworthy aspect of Moonlighting was its unconventional production schedule. While most hour-long TV series were shot in about seven days per episode, Moonlighting took significantly longer, often spanning 12 to 14 days. This extended shooting schedule was partially due to the unique nature of the show's writing process. Dialogue for episodes was frequently crafted only hours before filming, and in some cases, scenes were shot just days before they were set to air. The delays caused by these practices had a significant impact on the series' episode count. While many TV shows aim for the standard 26 episodes per season, Moonlighting fell short, producing only 66 episodes over its four-year run from 1985 to 1989. One of the most memorable and unusual features of Moonlighting was its willingness to break the fourth wall. At various points in the series, the actors would look directly into the camera and address the audience. They would mention the producers, director, writers, or script in their dialogue, blurring the lines between fiction and reality. In the second season finale, the characters even left their set and roamed around the studio, adding a surreal twist to the show's already unique style. Moonlighting was a show that pushed boundaries not only in terms of storytelling but also in production costs and techniques. Its willingness to experiment with format and engage with its audience in unconventional ways made it a standout series in the 1980s television landscape. Moonlighting, love off screen, hate on screen, the 1985 TV series Moonlighting shone brightly in the world of entertainment, but behind the scenes, it harbored its share of drama. While it gained fame for its witty banter and the chemistry between its leads, Bruce Willis and Cybill Shepard, their off-screen affairs placed a weighty burden on the show's cast and storytelling. During the show's run, both Willis and Shepard had high-profile relationships outside of the set. Their personal lives became tabloid fodder, and the public's fascination with their affairs spilled onto the small screen. Fans couldn't help but draw parallels between their real-life romances and the on-screen tension between their characters, David and Maddie. This dissonance between fans' reactions to the cast members' affairs and the show's storylines created a complex dynamic. Audiences were torn between rooting for the on-screen romance and disapproving of the actors' off-screen choices. It posed a challenge for the writers and directors to navigate the characters' relationship in a way that satisfied viewers, while not ignoring the elephant in the room. As the show progressed, the weight of these expectations grew heavier. The pressure to live up to the on-screen chemistry while dealing with the scrutiny of their personal lives affected both Willis and Shepard. 
It became a delicate balancing act for them, and it ultimately played a role in the show's narrative twists and turns. Moonlighting was a hit, but it's impossible to deny that the cast's off-screen affairs influenced the audience's expectations and perception of the on-screen love story. While the show remains a classic, it serves as a reminder of how the personal lives of actors can cast a long shadow over the characters they portray. In the end, Moonlighting left a mark not only for its clever writing and charismatic leads, but also for the way it grappled with the weight of off-screen relationships in the world of on-screen storytelling. As we bid adieu to the captivating world of Moonlighting, I invite you to pause for a moment and contemplate the unique connection you forged with this iconic 1985 TV series. Perhaps it's the witty banter between Maddie and David that still echoes in your mind. Or maybe it's the unpredictable mix of romance and comedy that kept you glued to the screen. Moonlighting wasn't just a show, it was an experience. A journey through the tangled web of love and detective work. A blend of sophistication and humor that left an indelible mark on the hearts of its viewers. It's a series that transcends time, and even now, its magic continues to resonate with those who were fortunate enough to witness it. So, what are your fondest memories of Moonlighting? Was it the chemistry between the charismatic Bruce Willis and the enchanting Cybill Shepard? Or perhaps the cleverly crafted mysteries that kept you guessing until the very end? Maybe it's the unforgettable one-liners or the moments of vulnerability that made these characters so relatable. Your thoughts and memories are like treasures, preserving the legacy of this remarkable show. Share them with us and let's celebrate the brilliance of moonlighting together. Whether it's a funny anecdote, a heartwarming scene, or simply the nostalgia that washes over you, your reflections are the testament to the enduring power of great storytelling. Thank you for taking this stroll down memory lane with us and for sharing your thoughts. Your engagement makes the world of Moonlighting live on, reminding us all that some stories are truly timeless. Until our next rendezvous with nostalgia, keep those memories close and those stories alive. Warmly.